Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, a new update for Safe Strap and it's Safe Strap 3.5. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to install it and show you kind of the differences in the Safe Strap which was 3.11 and 3.5 and just kind of show you the differences, show you some of the tweaks in it and show you how to do it. So basically what I want to show you right now is this is my Droid Razor Max or Droid Razor, it is the XT912, also codenamed Spider. Um, so we're going to go into settings and just show you guys what I'm running. And this is Android 4.3, right there, XT912. And this is Saijin mod. This is my custom ROM. This is in ROM slot 1 in Safe Strap. Now, if you don't know what Safe Strap is, please watch other videos. This is kind of an advanced thing. If you already know what Safe Strap is, if you already have root access, all those kind of things, you know how to flash custom ROMs. All that goodie, that's what this is about. If you don't know how to do that, please watch other videos. I have a whole playlist on this device. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a reboot. So right now I'm in ROM slot 1, so we're going to reboot. Hit OK. And you're going to see that I was running, like I said, safe strap um, 3.1. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to hit your menu button down here and boot into Safe Strap once it boots up here on the screen. Also, it's very important anytime you're doing any kind of modifications on your phone, this one's not super as big a deal, but you want to make sure that you guys have good battery life. I've got 100%. I just charged this thing before I started the video. So go ahead and make sure you have great battery life on your device. And here we go. We're booted up. Now, this is going to be the biggest change in this is right here. Twerp says right in there. Safe strap recovery version 3.11 based on Twerp version 2.2.2.1. So I'm pretty sure that he's updated this to the newest version of Twerp recovery or Team Win Recovery Project, which is version 2.6. I think that's correct. Um, so in 2.6, it has a screensaver. So when you're doing things like creating a ROM slot, the phone's going to turn off and not respond until it's done. If you're flashing a ROM and it takes too long, the screen's going to turn off. You're going to have to push, I think, power to wake it up. Um, or if you're doing an Android backup and it takes a certain amount of time, there's timeout stuff. And I think there's features to adjust that in advance once we get into there. So we want to go ahead and install this. Right now we're activating ROM slot 1. You can see it right there. We're going to go to boot menu, menu right there. And we're going to hit stock. And we're going to hit activate. And it says you're on stock ROM slot. And we're going to go back. And we're going to do a reboot. Reboot system. Um, now, this is going to get us to stock system. This is where you originally installed Safe Strap so that you could have the recovery system. And it's pretty simple. All you're going to do is you're going to download the APK file, which is that spider file. Uh, safe strap 3.5 spider APK and you're going to download that and basically we're just going to install that application pretty simple um, I'm gonna give you guys links in the video description down below to that APK for safe strap recovery 3.5 and uh, some a form droid forms where they have some more information about it and some of the change log and things that got updated on this version of safe strap now I've read that it's not recommended right now to flash anything to stock, um, which you could do in 3.11. He's working on some more updates that hash code is to developer, and it is what it is. So right now I wouldn't flash anything there. Everything through your, your ROM slots are good, and then just the recovery system is really updated, so that's always good. So let's let this boot up, and we'll go over it. Okay, so here you go. You can see that we are fully booted up, and it's kind of funny. This is it's probably going to do all kinds of crazy updates and stuff, but anyway, I haven't turned on stock in a long time. Um, so basically, I'm just going to show you what we're running here. Go into settings. About phone. And you can see that we're on Jelly Bean, but it's Android version 4.1.2. Again, XT912. All those goodies. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to go into a file browser. My preferred file browser is ES Explorer, File Explorer, and 
this is my SD card. I'm going to go to my external SD card. Where's that? I think it's that one. Yeah. There's no SIM, I'm just, it's fine. I'm not going to do an update right this minute. Okay, so here we are. And then I put the file in ROM. And here it is. Oh, and it has even has a new symbol, it looks like. So I'm going to hold down this just to show you guys the full name. The device is being a little bit slow because, like I said, I haven't turned this on in a while. So we're going to go to properties. And there it is. So, like I said, safestrap spider 3.50.apk. So, all you're going to do is you're going to hit on it. Come on, get off that menu setting. Hang on. There we go. So, select it. It says so install selected APKs. Yes. So, in another file browser, it's going to do basically the same. Mm -hmm. I just use this one because I really like it. Um, it's really not going to be a huge difference. Let's see what's going on here. So, right there, it says it's installing it in my notifications. And it should be installed. There it goes, installed successfully. And then all we got to do is go into our app drawer and there's it is with the new symbol okay so it says recovery state old version so uh, all we gotta do here is hit install recovery and see safestrap still has super super user permission so it didn't ask for it again if it was a new install it would ask for it if it is a new install you're basically doing the same thing. You're in stock system, and all you're going to do is download the APK, install it, grant it super user permission, and then do that little bit you just saw right there where we installed recovery. And it should say right here, there it is, recovery state installed, and you're on SafeStrap 3.5 right there. And from here, all we should have to do is power off the device. And then we're going to go ahead and go into it, and I'm going to try to walk through some of the new features of uh, SafeStrap. I just want to see if it's got a different splash screen. I'm just curious myself. I'm going to show you guys that also here if it doesn't take too long. There's your Motorola logo. And let's see about our splash screen. Also, I've, what I understand is that everything should boot up a little bit faster than it did in the old SafeStrap. I think just your phone in general is going to boot faster for the way he installed it. So we're going to hit menu. So the splash screen looked like to be the exact same as the last one. I'm not seeing anything different there. Um, let's go ahead and see how long it takes. So it was pretty quick. That was pretty not too bad. Now one of the things I think he added back in is the battery percentage right up there on the top. You can see that now we are based on Torp version 2.6.1. Um, and you can see some things are in red over here, which is interesting. And I think that's because you're on stock ROM slot. He's kind of warning you. So if we go back in here and we activate this one, and go back and now you can see they're not ready anymore I like that warning that's really nice for this version it's kinda like okay guys wait 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 don't do nothing yet first activate your ROM slot I mean that's that's a good a good little feature let's go into advanced here and you can see some of the basic stuff fix permissions file manager but I think if we go into settings let's see what we have in here zip signatures V5s Okay, some little interesting stuff right there. Go back into advanced. Theming, ADB side load terminal. Okay. I thought I read somewhere that he had something about doing uh, the time delay for the screen shutting off, but maybe that's to come. So some features there. So, okay, so now this is really important right here. So mount USB storage. So if something goes wrong, you mess something up really bad, and you can't get your phone to even be recognized by your computer, you can go into SafeStrap like this, and you hit this, and it'll mount it as a USB storage device, and then you can send files over to it. That's a really nice uh, little feature right there. Um, yeah, basically the same. Your wipes, your restores, your reboots. So I'm going to go ahead and do just do a reboot and reboot system. And there you go. That is your full install here of SafeStrap 3.5. Um, you're back to the custom ROM you're running and you just updated your recovery system. 
So definitely digging it. I like those little, like I said, those little red uh, warnings for when you're on stock ROM slot. That's a good feature for those noobs out there who don't know, don't want to mess something up. That's a good thing to have that little colorization on there. And that is pretty much it. Like I said, you do have some screensaver things that are going to be in there. And it's just a better recovery system. It's updated. So that is it. That is my full install slash partially review uh, on the Droid Razor Max or Droid Razor XT912. I uh, hope you guys like this. I uh, hope it was informative for you. Uh, as always, we're going to watch our boat animation. Shabam! And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.